The ninhydrin test is a chemical test performed to detect the presence of ammonia, primary and secondary amines, amino acids, proteins with free amino groups, because ninhydrin can react with the free amine groups of these molecules to form certain colored products. The ninhydrin test is an extremely sensitive test for amino acids, which can detect even microgram amounts and can be employed qualitatively or quantitatively. Ninhydrin is also commonly used in forensics to detect fingerprints since the terminal amines of lysine residues which are shed off from the peptides and proteins present in finger sweat secretions are capable of reacting with ninhydrin. Ninhydrin is a light yellow colored substance discovered in 1910 by the German-English chemist Siegfried Ruhemann. This video will be on the protocol for preparing ninhydrin reagent both for use in qualitative and quantitative estimations. To watch my other videos on qualitative and quantitative ninhydrin tests, make sure to click on the links given in the description below. There are various formulations for preparing the reagent. I'll be showing you here the protocol for preparing 100 ml of a 2% ninhydrin reagent. The following materials will be required for this. Ninhydrin powder. 100 ml volumetric flask or graduated cylinder, 100 ml beaker, stirring rod, funnel, a suitable airtight and labeled container for storing the prepared reagent, about 100 ml of any one of the following solvents, ethanol, acetone, 1 is to 1 mixture of acetone and butanol. Isopropanol can also be used as solvent but ninhydrin is not very soluble in isopropanol. Analytical weighing scale. To begin, first weigh exactly 2 grams of ninhydrin in the 100 ml beaker. Add to this 30 to 50 ml of the solvent of choice and stir to completely dissolve the ninhydrin. I'll be using absolute ethanol for this. Once the ninhydrin has completely dissolved in the solvent, which takes about 5 to 10 minutes, transfer the solution to a chemically clean, dry volumetric flask or a graduated cylinder. Rinse the beaker, the stirring rod and the funnel a few times using minimal quantities of the chosen solvent and transfer the washings into the flask or the cylinder. This ensures complete transfer of all traces of the ninhydrin into the flask. Now make up the volume in the flask to exactly 100 ml using the same solvent used to dissolve the ninhydrin. Stopper the flask and invert it several times to homogenize the solution. Transfer the prepared reagent into a suitable, well-labeled, airtight container for final storage. Ninhydrin reagent is now ready to be used for qualitative and quantitative tests. Do click on the links given in the description below or click on the end screen card shown on the screen right now to watch my other videos on qualitative and quantitative ninhydrin tests. Thanks for watching.